Hello everybody, welcome to Anexis TV. This is Kyanite and this is the match we've all been waiting for. Obviously, the European mix of nostalgia up against our very own Anexis here on the Dusty D Dust 2 for the Prague Challenge Final. So it is gonna be the pistol round, and it looks like nostalgia are gonna go for a quick short boost, which should be make things interesting, but it looks like, hang on a second, we've got the terrorists making their way into the B-bomb site, so Rattlesnake is in there, Hunter Jean gets the first kill onto Taz, Rattlesnake with a lovely little headshot onto Kenny S, and now Nostalgia are two men down, Apex with the grenade, lands right on Rattlesnake after he's threw that through the window, and the bomb is going to have to go down, one of the CTs however does drop into the bomb site, Hunter G spots him, Apex takes down MX, and it's, it could still go either way here, three versus two, Overdrive, hang on a second, Overdrive took down Apex, he took down his own teammates, and unfortunately they're a team kill, Allowed a Nexus to capitalise on what went wrong and win the round. So, uh, yep, Nostalgia obviously are a mixed team, a European mixed team, as most people would know, consisting of Apex, Neo, Kenny S, Overdrive, and Taz. Now, some of you guys might, may not have actually heard of Overdrive. He's actually uh, an ex Russian Counter Strike 1.6 player who, for whatever reason, has decided that he wants to have a shot at Counter Strike Global Offensive. So,. Here he is, and I'll tell you what, his uh, first game back and he's in a LAN final, so uh, you got to admit he's not doing too badly. Anyway, let's have a look at what's happening here. So, uh, two B-sided for Anexis. The bomb was with Rattlesnake top of mid, it's now with Hood's G. Release with that kill onto Overdrive in the B-bomb site. I think we're going to see Overdrive struggling, in my opinion, but we'll see what's going to happen. So, uh, Nexus look like they're preparing... A B slash mid to B push. We obviously know that no CTs are even on the B bomb site. It looks like they will commence this push onto the B bomb site. MX is already on the bomb site. Spots one of the CTs and CT spawn. No, he doesn't. Now he does. He's gonna exchange bullets. He has dinked him. Husey comes in at mid and takes him down. So four versus three. Exciting stuff from an Nexus so far. Kenny S stuck in CT spawn. Obviously, Kenny S is. Uh, Apex's teammate, they both play for the French organization LDLC.com. Team LDLC is what they call themselves. There's the bomb is down on the B bomb site. And Kenny S with a lovely little headshot there onto Hughes. Hughes he pushed him, Kenny S made him pay. But release, however, finished Kenny S off. So, four versus two. Rattlesnake is going on the hunt for this la uh, second to last CT. Knows exactly where he is, pulls his Glock out, waiting for him to peek. But Taz is playing it smart, and down he goes. He said he was playing it smart, and then he peeked. <laughs> anyway, so 2-0 to Anexus. They've got the money in their favor. We still most likely won't see a buy from the CTs. Apex, however, decided to go for a Deagle, which is going to be interesting, without a doubt. It's like only release going towards the B bomb site by himself. Husey spotting mid. Rattlesnake, G working long. So... Let's have a look at what MX is going to come up against, because he's coming up against around three counter-terrorists here at long, we know that, he doesn't. So far a typical DDoS2 game, both teams really sparring at each other, nades being dispersed left, right and centre. His release still B-sided, he's actually faking the mid to be push and he's going to use that box. Sometimes called Xbox. He spotted overdrive in lower tunnels, but it's not going to matter now as Hudji makes his move along with the rest of an exit to take down Neo and Taz, and the bomb will go down. Well played, Hudji, with that UMP of his release. Takes down overdrive, who obviously was rotating behind him. Kenny S now on 3 HP. He's been spotted at long, and down he will go. Hudji gets number 3 for himself, and Rattlesnake will spot Apex. Can he take him down? Yes, he can. With uh, that Glock of his. So 3 0 on Nexus. Obviously, in Nexus are the real team here. Nostalgia, not really much of a team. Um, simply because they're a mix. And uh, you can argue that, that some of the players are in rival clans as well. Obviously, Neo playing for ESC Gaming. Whilst Apex and Kenny S, like we discussed before, play for LDLC. Kenny S, obviously, an ex very Games player as well. But it looks like we're going to see a mid fake from Rattlesnake. It looks like. And Nexus are going to push the B-bomb site, so let's go out and take a look at what's going to go on. So they've already taken the B-bomb site, Overdrive struggling by himself. Rattlesnake pushed me, uh, actually pushed the A-bomb site, took down Overdrive. The bomb will go down now. The CTs, Taz and another CT are going to try and 
pick off who they can. Kenny has with a lovely up shot onto Rattlesnake. Someone on the A bomb site. Rattlesnake should have probably fell back down. Taz takes down MX after jumping through window. Now suddenly the retake seems more likely for nostalgia. Nostalgia for four versus and there we go. Yes, <laughs> a bit of a tongue twister nostalgia there. And uh, like we said, they got the job done in the end, and it's going to be three one, assuming they can defuse the bomb. And they can. So Apex coming big with two kills. Kenny S with two kills as well. So well played, nostalgia. They won uh, round number four, which is deemed as a very important round in Counter Strike because it's the round where both teams should be able to buy and really test their wits against each other. However, I think NX has realised that B is quite weak for nostalgia, so they're going to try and work that a fair bit. Overdrive is obviously playing B in the early rounds. It looks like Nostalgia changed that round playing Taz and Kenny S now on that side of the map. So Release is going to do what he does best and what we've seen him do best throughout this whole tournament on Deals 2. Just hang around near the B bomb site by himself and cause problems, really. And it looks like we're going to have a mid to B push. So let's have a look at what's going to happen. Apex taken down in CT. Rattlesnake takes down Kenny S. And so far, Nexus look good as they make their way into this B-bomb site. Taz will take down release, but Rattlesnake comes from behind to finish him off with a lovely AK shot. And the bomb will go down. So four versus two, Overdrive with an M4. Spotted one of the terrorists. Can he take him down? No, he cannot. He has a rough idea where MX is. He's going to peek him. And no, it looks like we're going to have a save from Nostalgia, which is probably the smart thing to do. Four versus two. We know that Hughes and MX and Hudson are quite heavily tagged, but... They might, well they should do, but assuming how well their communication is with the rest of their side. But it doesn't look like they're, they're, they're quite aware of that, so they're going to save. Probably an intelligent choice, and it's going to be 4-1 to an Nexus. So on paper, an Nexus really should be winning. Quite simply due to the fact that they're a team, but take nothing away from this nostalgia side. Apex, Neo, Kenny S, and Taz, all brilliant Counter-Strike Global Offensive players. Overdrive wants a brilliant Counter-Strike 1.6 player, but it'll be interesting to see what he's going to do here on Counter-Strike Global Offensive. How's he doing so far? Unfortunately, not very well. He's on minus one kill, so make of that whatever you, what you will. So Apex pushing up mid. Will he take down Hudge G? Yes, he will. And he's going to spot another terrorist. He's dealt damage onto him. Rattlesnake takes him down with a nice orb shot right to the face into his cranium. Spots another counter-terrorist. Can he take him out? CT fell back, so release in the lower tunnels area now, 3 versus 4, the CTs just holding this, the, the, both bomb sites now, just invite the terrorists in and see what happens, and smokes now, it's at that point in the round where smokes spread out all over the map, Rattlesnake, here's a few M4 bullets coming from mid, and has a rough idea where one of the CTs is, spots him, but can't take him down, release now making his way through upper tunnels, probably going to try and make some noise, or maybe even get a B pick, if he can get that B pick onto what looks, yep, it is Taz, he could very well open up the map for his team, but Release gets tagged himself, let's see what's going on from Taz's point of view, Taz playing it smart, and <laughs> very smart indeed, finishes off Release, and now Rattlesnake is stuck by himself on 1 HP, and Husey will get an exit frag, oh, good shot by Rattlesnake, and I'll tell you what, what was 4 versus 2, Husey got the frag, Onto another nostalgic player, then Rattlesnake with a beautiful headshot with that up. And now all of a sudden, retaking, actually no, six seconds to go. Can Rattlesnake get the bomb down? No, he cannot. Neo timed it very well. He heard the exact moment that Rattlesnake came in. Yuzi will take Neo down, but the bomb wasn't planted. So Yuzi's going to try and save that up, and he just about did. So uh, I think he's going to give it to Rattlesnake now. And I think he'll expect an AK-47 in return. So taking a look at the scoreboard overall. Apex with 5 kills, 4 deaths. Topping it for Nostalgia. Kenny has 4 kills, 5 deaths. Followed by Taz and Yoan Overdrive. Rattlesnake topping it for his side. 8 kills, 3 deaths. Obviously the Nexus captain makes it 9 with a good orb shot onto Overdrive. Followed by Hoods G who's released. And MX who is yet to get a kill so far. So far so good for a Nexus. Deedles 2 obviously arguably terrorist sided. So we've got Taz playing the B bomb site by himself, Kenny S and Apex both playing the A bomb site, and hang on a second, Yuzi's made his, his way into A long. 
However, there is Neo just behind that wall. Who's going to peek him and take him down. Good shot, Neo. And release elsewhere on the map, taking down Kenny S. So, four versus three in favor of Nexus. Release still working the B-bomb site by himself. MX with a nice AWP shot. It's not very often we see MX with an AWP. And it looks like the B push is going to commence. MX spots CT. Can't take him down. Release. However, took down Taz in the B-bomb site. So two versus one. But release obviously only on 10 HP. So could very well easily die if Neo can manage to take him out. And this two versus one could become one versus one. And we could very well have a clutch on our hands. Neo will take down Hus Gene. He's going to chase down Release, but Release, Release was on 10 HP, and but he pulled the shot off at the end after Neo took down the bomb planter. So 5-2 to a Nexus as they increase their tally to five rounds in round number eight. So so far so good for a Nexus. Nostalgia won't be disappointed too far. We know the quality they have in this side. But at the same time, we also know that in, uh, that DDoS 2 is one of Nexus' strongest maps. So, we're just going to have to see what they can make of nothing, really. And this is obviously a best of three game. Kenny S is going to push the B-bomb site and run straight into two terrorists. who are quite hungry to uh, take him out. And try and free up that B-bomb site. UZ will take down Overdrive at long. Wherever Overdrive has been so far, he's just, well, he's not been very good at it. But that's quite self-explanatory considering he doesn't really play this game but it could end up being a major turning point in this game overall because it could mean nostalgia could end up losing this game because of it anyways KS is going to push up a tunnels and MX is going to fire that bullet straight into his face and now 4 versus 2 Rattlesnake with the up there along with Hoods G his teammate he's going to make his way into lower tunnels and that CT double doors who was Taz will have heard him but it's not going to matter now because MX came from behind and took him out he usually pushed long and finished Apex off. So 6-2 to Anexis and so far so good. Looks good for the Brits. Nostalgia by the looks of things. On another Eco. So on paper they should lose this run as well. Which should leave them 7-2 down. Which uh, is something they're going to have to try and really fix. Huz G with two nice kills at long. Takes down Neo and Apex, makes it three onto Overdrive, and can he make it four or even five? Let's have a look at what he's doing. Hoods G makes his way up towards the A bomb site now, scanning the bomb site for any more counter terrorists, and hoping they fall right in his crosshair. So he's gonna hold out on the A bomb site, wait for Rattlesnake to make his way with the bomb to try and get it planted. Hoods G now. MX and release with both kills. So OG couldn't make it 4 or 5, but uh, a decent attempt, without a doubt. 7 2 in favour of the Brits. So far, quick rounds. Hopefully, we'll see a slower round now. Let's have a look at this CT setup. They've sent no one B, and the Nexus, however, are going B. Actually, Taz is going to make a late entrance into B, so what can Taz do? And two, the T's are going to go towards lowers, so let's have a look at what they're going to do. Who's on Hoods G? Know that Apex has been spotted on short. Can they take him out before he takes them out? Not quite yet. Neo takes down Rattlesnake. And Neo with the second kill onto Hoods G in lower tunnels with a beautiful nade. And I think Nexus is sort of stuck to try and make shift of not very much now as they try to push this B bomb site. MX will take down Kenny S, but Taz. In the car area, takes down MX, Apex onto release, Hughes gets an exit frag, but Apex comes in with his second for the round, and 7-3, Nostalgia now have the weapons, without a doubt will be looking to try and punish an X as much as they can, and try and take back as many rounds as they can, so 7-3 so far in round 11, here on DDoS 2, of the Prague Challenge, best of 3 final, Kenny S, with that world famous AWP of his, of it was proven that round to be too good for Rattlesnake's world famous orb. And Anexis all of a sudden find themselves one man down. So let's have a look at what's happening elsewhere on the map. Release with a lovely headshot onto Taz there. I'm not quite sure he meant that. There was a smoke in between both of them. But Release definitely had his crosshair on the right place at the right time. So Kenny S playing in the back of the B-bomb site with that orb by himself. Now Overdrive and Neo. No one's on the A-bomb site. Apex looks like he's going to fall back to it. And Hood's G... 
Looks like he's going to take the bomb towards A. So MX with a frag onto Neo on short. He knows that another CT is there. He's going to flash him and push him. So what can MX make at number two for himself? He's being flashed as he moves up short noiselessly. Yuzi is also at long. So I think what we'll see now is Yuzi push long along with MX and the rest of the Inexus lads starting to push short. However, it looks like something could happen between Overdrive and another of the terrorists here. Release takes down Kenny S after he pushed the B-bomb site. And now he's in that B-bomb site, so Yuzi probably looking to go into that B-bomb site. Yes, that is what they're going to do, because they know that both CTs, one CT is CT spawn, namely Overdrive, and another CT is on the A-bomb site. So the bomb will go down, 16 seconds to go, the time is ticking. Three. There's four, sorry, versus two. What can Apex and Overdrive pull out of the bag? Let's go see what Over Overdrive can do. And the second we go over to him, he gets killed by MX as he uh, gets his second kill for the round. So now uh, Apex, the team LDLC player at long. MX is going to approach him with a, MX with a good flash there, as if MX knew exactly where he was. And MX will make it three for himself as he drops Apex with that AK-47. So 8-3 in favour of the Brits now. And we see Nostalgia, well, they're on another eco, so probably 9-3 to, to an Exus in a bit. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens, really. It looks like an Exus is going to go for a B push, however, Nostalgia have uh, stacked the B bomb site. MX is going to make his way in there. You know, Kenny S has been spotted. Overdrive is going to push him. Oyuzi takes down Overdrive. Taz onto MX, however. So a killer piece so far, and anything can happen, anything is really on the cards. Neo with a nice kill onto Ralstein, the rest of the terrorists are going to push, make their way into the B-bomb site, release onto Taz. Kenny S is stuck by himself, only has that pistol, but that's all he needs as he takes down Hush G. Two versus one now, Kenny S is all by himself, can he pull this clutch off? But no, Yuzi took him out, he had the advantage of the AK-47. Unlucky for Kenny S, he got one kill with the USB. At the end of the day, it just wasn't enough, and now we do see a buy round from Nostalgia. So it's 9 3, but if Nostalgia do win the next three rounds, they could make it 9 6. Obviously, it is MR15, which means max round 15, which means every half consists of 15 rounds until both teams switch. As soon as a team gets 16 rounds altogether, they automatically win the game because no matter how many more rounds the opposition get, they can't get more than the other team. Anyways, release with the first kill onto Apex. So far, so good. It looks like NX is going to start this mid to B push. Hood G, along with his teammate, pushing up B. And uh, Hood G drops overdrive. Spots Taz, also drops him. Can Hood G make it three? Yes, he can. Hood G with three AK-47 headshots there. Pushed mid to B. Took out Nostalgia. They had no idea what hit them. And Hood G exploded all over Nostalgia. So the bomb is down now on the B-bomb site. The last terrorist, uh, the counter terrorist, namely Kenny S, was spotted. And MX took him down with a nice heat grenade. So 10-3 to the Brits and looking so far so good. And Exus obviously really expected to win this LAN. And if they don't, well I think you'll come across as a surprise. Take nothing away from nostalgia. Probably when you compare an Exus and Nostalgia players, they're quite they're very evenly matched. But the fact that an Exus are a team as opposed to Nostalgia being a mix should really always give an Exus that slight advantage over them. So anyways, Yuzi's tag, MX took down Apex, who tried to push long put. So first blood for Inexus. Taz playing rather aggressively in the upper tunnels area. We know that he's got company in Hoods G. He doesn't. Hoods G will take him down. See you later. As that nade lands right on overdrive and MX finishes him off. So five, make that five versus one. I was going to say five versus two is released. Nailed Kenny S in the head. And Neo's going to push and Rattlesnake is going to finish him off. So 11-3. A strong half so far from an Exus and Nostalgia. Well, last round of the game. Can they make it 11-4? I think they'll be somewhat satisfied with 11-4. Obviously, this is best of three. So, if they were to lose on Dust 2, I think they would. Make their way back into the game. So, a killer piece, as we saw there. Rattlesnake with his second of the round. Actually, no, it was his first of the round, sorry. Release got the other kill. So 
MX is going to make his way in towards Long and he's going to be greeted by a counter-terrorist. Can he finish him off? No, he can't, but Hood's G wasn't too far behind and got the job done. So, two versus four now. Let's have a look at what Taz can do. He is approaching these terrorists who are attacking from Long. All he has is an M4. He's going to use that smoke that the T's put to his advantage, actually. And I take that back. They put another smoke there. It's pretty much blinded him fully. I think he's going to gamble and just push out and take down who he can. He's looking at some terrorists. But he obviously didn't spot them. And now Overdrive is left by himself. See the Russian player. And down he goes. So, scoreboard for this first half. Apex topping it for nostalgia with 7 kills, 12 deaths. Kenny S not too far behind with 7 kills, 14 deaths. Neo with 7 kills, 12 deaths. Taz, 6 kills, 14 deaths. And Overdrive still on uh, minus 1 kills, 12 deaths. Hoods G topping it for a Nexus. Obviously, he played very well. 13 kills, 5 deaths. Release with 16 kills, 4 deaths. MX with 11 kills, 6 deaths. Rattlesnake with 13 kills, 7 deaths. And Newsy with 10 kills, 5 deaths. So, uh, Overdrive, somewhat of a weakling <laughs> for Nostalgia. But fair play to him. He's, I'm sure he's trying his best. There are rumours that he is some sort of Russian billionaire or something along those lines and that he paid for Nostalgia to go to this land as a mixed team, but um, they aren't true. <laughs> well, it could be a Russian billionaire, but as far as I'm aware, he isn't a Russian billionaire. He's just an X1.6 player who uh, older people in the scene will remember who wants to uh, try out Counter-Strike Global Offensive. But anyways, on to the pistol round now. Nostalgia will really be looking to win this pistol round if they want to really make a comeback. All the uh, Nexus players, surprisingly, towards the B-bomb site. No one exactly on the A-bomb site. But G takes down Kenny S at mid. But Apex will make his way towards long. Good shot by Yuzi. Takes him down across over 3 versus 4 now. And an interesting strategy from Nexus, but it's worked for them. I think they perhaps knew what to expect from the mixed team. Probably had a rough idea they were going to push long, so they decided to use the fact that they have USPs to their advantage, because the USP, the CT starting pistol, is obviously a lot better long range than the terrorist Glock. So the bomb has gone down, 4 versus 3, Neo's heavy tagged, release will drop Neo. Taz with a lovely shot onto Husey, LG takes down Taz, and LG gets number 2. Actually, number three for this round, and we'll get the diffuse as well. So, 13-3 uh, in favour of a Nexus, and on paper, as we always say, Nexus should now really win the next two rounds. Quite simply, because uh, they won the pistol round, which will leave Nostalgia at a financial, in a financial struggle. And they've opted to go for Famases. It's not the first time we see a Nexus by Famases, and the last time they bought Famases, I believe, was in the earlier stages of this tournament, where they did very well. So, uh, let's see what Nostalgia are going to do here. Neo's already been hurt in the B area. Looks like we're going to have a mid to B push. The CTs have no idea. Now they do. Taz and Co. will look to drop into this B bomb site. Release with the first kill onto Kenny S. Emmett with another. Release makes it two for himself. And Taz being shot from all sorts of angles here. Release makes it three. Can he make it four? No, he can't. Rattlesnake gets, it. gets um, uh, his first of the round. Picks up that Famas in the process, saving money for his side. An economical count, uh, Rattlesnake, that's what we like to see. And hang on a second, Rattlesnake has got it up. So let's have a look at what he can do. Nostalgia have gone for a bit of an early buy, and they have AKs already, so they could very well take an Nexus by surprise. I think Rattlesnake spotted one of the sea, one of the terrorists in Sniper's Alley, but that smoke obviously hurt Rattlesnake's view on things. So as far as the terrorists are doing, it's like they're going to push short. So let's see what Rattlesnake can do, because they're going to basically run right into Rattlesnake. He's been heavy tagged, so he's not that heavy. He's on 74 HP, misses that shot, and Kenny S makes him pay. Kenny S with the second onto Hudge G. Nice AK work by Kenny S. And him and the rest of Nostalgia will make their way onto the A bomb site. MX making his way through CT spawn. He's obviously walking. He doesn't want them to know where he is coming from. Five versus three now. 
And are NX is going to go for this? I don't think they are. I think they're just going to try and hang out and try and get exit frags. Husey knows exactly where Overdrive is and Husey will finish him off. Has Overdrive even got a kill yet? No, he hasn't, unfortunately. Husey um, uh, gets confronted by another terrorist. Can he take him out? Pulls his pistol out. Kenny S finishes him off. So three versus two. Release took down Taz, but Apex, Apex returned the favour. And now it's Release all by himself, waiting outside long. He's going to get pushed by Neo. Can he finish him off? Yes, he can. He's going to pick up that AK and fall back and save it. He's going to get pushed by Apex from his left. And whew, that was close. So, Anexus 14, style G4. Anexus need two more rounds to emerge victorious here on Dust2. Obviously, Anexus being an English team, Deals 2 I mean, tends to be a map that English sides, in my opinion, are, are quite relatively strong at. Whilst maps such as Inferno really are what French teams are stronger at. And uh, you guys get the drill. Really, this is a mix, so we should have the best of both worlds. I do believe the next map is going to be Inferno. So, uh, so yeah. Anexis on an eco, on the looks of things. So, MX onto, Rattle, onto Apex, Rattlesnake onto Neo. So, three versus three now. As the terrorists try and make their way onto this A-bomb site, Kenny S with a lovely little headshot onto Rattlesnake. Taz, here's Hunji coming from behind and Taz will finish him off. So now it's all up to MX who is by himself. Now he's going to make his way onto short, as we can see. Actually, no, he's going to fall back and save. Or maybe he's just changed his mind, he's going to go long, I don't know. So let's see what he's going to do. Nope, he's going to save. Doesn't want to take on these three terrorists. Doesn't fancy his chances against them. And this half... Is going to go on for a, a bit longer, as we'll see, 14-5 now, I believe. Unless MX can pull off uh, a miracle. And we can hear the bomb. And there he goes, terrorists win. So, so far, so good for nostalgia on this T side. They're not doing too badly. They're going to have to try and start to rack up few more rounds. I think they could be expecting an Nexus to uh, to have decoded here, but they've actually bought up. They had enough money for it. can't quite remember whether or not they ecoed last round. So anyways, what are these terrorists going to do then? Well, Kenny S is going to make his way into B. He's going to try and take that quick pick onto release, and he does. And that one man advantage could be huge for nostalgia later on come, this, come the end of this game. So, 4 versus 5 in favour of nostalgia now. And the terrorists really are spread all over the map. Smoke is dispersed at mid double doors. And nades are being thrown left, right, and center. Both teams sparring at each other. MX has rotated to B because Belize was taken out there, obviously, earlier on in the round. Apex, however, still working B. That's my thing. What he wants to do is really either get a kill or spot a CT in B. Which will allow the rest of his team to really make this push. However, does he know MX is there? Can MX take him down? Yes, MX can. And I'll tell you what, MX is where at a advantage, but they've quite quickly turned this round. Overdrive get, finally gets his first kill onto MX. Taz comes from behind, and all of a sudden, 4 versus 2 is 2 versus 2. Taz is being tagged by Husey, and the bomb will go down on the B bomb site. Thanks to Overdrive. So Taz making his way up mid to B. He's going to run into Rattlesnake. He's walking quietly and will take him down. And now it's all up to Hughes. Because he makes his way through from T-spawn. Into the B-bomb site through the tunnels area. And no, he's going to fall back by the looks of things. That's a shame. That's something we've seen a Nexus do a fair bit, to be fully honest. Be it 3v1 situations or 2v1 situations. They haven't really come across as very... Very confident, probably in their own ability with regards to retaking bomb sites or taking on two or more opposing players by themselves. We have no buy from an Exodus, so nostalgia really slowly making their way back into this game. No one going B sided for the terrorists, so let's have a look at what Apex is going to do. It looks like he's going to try and take Long very quickly by himself. He has Rattlesnake there to deal with, though. He will take him out with a lovely headshot there. Can he make it two in a row? Probably not. 
as he got dinked himself. Overdrive will come in to help him. Tagged himself. MX with a nice shot onto Nia, but Overdrive with his second kill of the round. Well done, Overdrive. And down goes Release. So Nostalgia really exploding all over Nexus there. And 14-7. Uh, so Nexus obviously need two more rounds. We are seeing a buy round now from Nexus as CT. So maybe we'll see something different with regards to how they how they how they set up. <laughs> Down goes released. Kenny S is up. And an Nexus well find himself one man down. So MX is playing B by himself. Hood G has been boosted to play mid in ninja spot and Rattlesnake and Husey playing the A bomb side by themselves. No one going towards B for the terrorists. Kenny S playing rather aggressively on short Taz with that kill onto Hood's G. So five versus three now. Make that five versus two. So far, very well played by Nostalgie. Apex onto Rattlesnake, and MX is the final counter terrorist remaining, and he is on the B bomb site. So unless he pulls a magnificent five versus one clutch off, I don't think we're going to see anything. However, he will get at least one exit frag. But Kenny S, well, Kenny S is the real orper, and uh, Kenny S made MX suffer. MX probably should have backed out after that first kill and changed his position. Release says F U Kenny. Nice smiley face from Kenny S there. As we enter round number 23. Still anybody's game. 5 on 5. And we have an eco from Nexus. So Taz and Apex making their way into the B bomb site. Rattlesnake is going to release. So he's going to push them. Taz with that first kill. Release manages to dink Apex. But Taz makes it number 2 for himself. So 3 versus 5. Been impressed with how Nostalgia have taken this terrorist side on Bleeders. Dude, Taz makes it three for himself now. Can he take down Hughes to make it four? They know exactly where Hughes is. He's in lowers. He's picked up an AWP. So he could very well look to fall back and save this AWP. He's going to peek mid. Ooh, and Taz will get the four man. Well played by Taz. And 14 9. And I'll tell you what, Nostalgia all of a sudden look like they could really pull this comeback off and. Uh, Perhaps win this game. Anything's possible, really. Round number 24. A buy round from both sides. Kenny S watching that gap in the smoke. The rest of the terrorists make their way towards long. Rattlesnake with that first AWP kill. On to Apex. So 5 versus 4 in favour of Nostalgia. And hopefully, we'll see an Nexus capitalise on this one man disadvantage. One man advantage, sorry. Usually makes it a two-man advantage as he takes down Overdrive at long. Can Uzi make it two for himself? Yes, he can. And he knows exactly where another terrorist is. Throws that grenade. And at the moment, the CTs are surrounded. Hood's G will take down Neo. And now it's all up to Taz. He will get taken down by Rile Snakes or So, 15 rounds for a next. So, Nostalgia on paper. I have to win every single round now. In order to uh, remain in this map and even go to uh, to overtime. Obviously, this is best of three. This uh, Prague Challenge final between Nexus and Nostalgia. So, uh, whoever wins this map, if they win the second map, they will emerge victorious. If uh, whoever wins this map, the other team wins the second map. Well, then uh, we're gonna have a gonna have to have a third map to decide who the winner is gonna be. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. 22 kills, nine deaths for release. Puzz G 18 kills 12 deaths, MX 16 kills 11 deaths, Rattlesnake 18 kills 14 deaths, UZ 15 kills 11 deaths. So what's going on here? Have we had any more liveliness going on throughout the map? But nostalgia just sort of all sat on short. One nade, I'll tell you, one nade onto short will do a lot of damage onto them. But Kenny S is gonna peak that A bomb site. UZ with the first kill onto Overdrive. Kenny S and Rattlesnake. Both sparring at each other. Rattlesnake, however, doesn't have an orb. Yes, he does actually. My bad for that. Rattlesnake with a nice kill onto Taz. Hoz G and Husey with kills apiece as well. Now it's all down to Kenny S to really pick up this ball and try and save it for his team. And he cannot. And there is the end of the game. Nexus emerged victorious.